everybody, welcome to your uh, 2015 September uh, stars. Um, this year has gone really fast, it's going really fast, I don't know where half the months have, months have gone. Um, September is going to be an awful lot of changes for us again, a lot of things happening, a lot of profound changes going on around us. Um, I thought this month, um, because it's quite a big month, I would use um, my old tarot deck. I don't know if I've got the book for it. Um, my Ciro Margetti, um, Gateway to the Divine Tarot. So that is the one that I'm using this month. And usually when I use that deck, um, it's a little bit more focused. It's a little bit more in depth, a lot more thought provoking than the usual readings that I do where this will happen in work, this will happen in relationships, it's it's more focused in. Um, so do remember to look out for um, your moon sign and your rising sign as well to give you some extra clarity if it doesn't resonate with you um, because they are more focused in, they're not quite as scattered um, as my other readings, which I'll stick to doing them like that during the week this month. I just thought with it being September and with it being a uh, we've got two eclipses this month, so I just thought I'd do do a little bit of a, a deeper reading for you this month. So to have a look at what is going on this month, I'm not going to go into the full astrology because I'm not very good at astrology. I go more off the energies of the full moons so and the new moons. So that's what I, I sort of go through um, when I go through things. So September the 6th, we have got... Um, Venus is finally going direct. Um, this is going to be felt up until October the 8th. Thank goodness, that's really, really good that it's going forward. But the first 10 days of September are a really important turning point for a lot of us um, that reveals the new order or the new way of how we're going to do things. Any changes of heart that came around during the Venus retrograde and have sort of stuck with you and you've made your decision on those and any new priorities that you've planned or you thought of, those can now be implemented and, and put solidly into place. Any bad relationships are now going to be left behind and we can start to do repair work on um, that begins on relationships and the projects that we've, that have passed the test of the retrograde. Um, on September the 13th, 2015, we've got a solar um, eclipse. Um, it's a new moon in Virgo. And it's really important, <laughs> really important. With the new moon in Virgo um, and with it being a partial solar eclipse, Remember that eclipses are all about creating changes in your life um, that you want to last. So focus on issues, focus on wishes that are going to stand the test of time when this solar eclipse comes round. Make your wishes, make your questions um, and ask your guides and angels and ask your higher consciousness um, and ask things like if you're looking for a relationship, what do I need? Um, to do to be in order, what do I do, what do I need to do in order to be in a relationship that serves me and respects me and makes me feel part of a team that makes me feel good and when you create wishes and questions like that that are designed um, for the big picture not temporary the universe is going to respond to that um, and the new moon solar eclipse in Virgo is all about eclipsing the bad out of your life and creating the good that you want to last that has that lasting duration to stay around as well. Some of the changes that come your way will be fated and destined and you won't have a chance to not let them happen. There isn't a thing you can do about it for those that are fated. What you can do between now and then is prepare yourself um, to be okay with any surprises and any changes that come about that you haven't got control about. 
um, during the solar eclipse. When the new moon is in Virgo uh, for this eclipse, organisation, responsibility and attention to detail is going to be really important. Themes of, of where this is. This is where you're going to see the changes in both your love and your work life. And what once you have asked your for your wishes, go with the flow as much as you can and let the changes just come in on their own, in their own way, without trying to uh, predict predict the exact way in which things will happen. Just let it flow, let it come in. We don't know how things are going to happen. You just know that they are going to happen but we don't know in what way they're going to happen. And then moving on to September the 17th. September the 17th through to October the 9th, we've got Mercury retrograde. And Mercury retrograde is in Libra. So that's in my sign. Um, so Mercury retrograde is the planet that rules communications, travel, short journeys, messages, communication, emails, phone calls, computers um, and in any general retrograde period we can always expect delays on all of these matters um, and travel or road related hiccups as well. If there is any time of year um, that you are going to experience any of these delays it's going to be during the um, Mercury retrograde. So back up all your technology, back up your disks on your computer, double and triple check travel arrangements um, and hand deliver anything, any important documents. Don't let them get lost in the post. Pay extra attention um, to all that sort of thing. Because this one is happening um, in Libra, expect messages involve, involving partnerships to have special importance to you. And if you've been waiting, uh, for a lover, a past love to come back to you. Again, Mercury retrograde because it's in Libra, which is the zodiac sign of partnerships and balance. It's the time of year when this is most likely to happen. So watch out for that. Now, September the 27th, we've got a lunar, a full lunar eclipse in Aries. Um, and this supermoon poses a lot of good things. Um, with a full moon in Aries, all the Aries traits are going to come out. So passion, drive, leadership, confidence um, and instincts are all going to be highlighted for all of the sun signs to make use of. Um, and we know that with the eclipse moons, when they've got that energy, it's about 10 times more potent than a regular normal full moon is. And so with you've got the Aries energy in there, it's really going to burn fires and it's going to do that for all the signs in the zodiac. So if you've got any burning drive, any burning desires in your life right now, follow every single instinct, opportunity that comes your way. And if you can do that, you will certainly see some really magical results and things to avoid during this this period that are bad uh, bad tempers walk away from any arguments that come your way um, during this period and certainly certainly keep your temper at bay when it comes around um, because it will there'll be a few frayed nerves at this time as well and a good chance you might want to argue with somebody so keep that at bay be careful of that and just watch out for that so we've got a lot of interesting things happening this month. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other astrological things as well, but I don't um, don't know an awful lot about those. But there's there's plenty of other readers on there that you can go through and find out every single date of what's going on. I just wanted to highlight the ones that I know of that interest me um, and are most prevalent to the energies that I feel and when I do the cards and everything. So. There we go. So have have um, a brilliant September. There's going to be an awful lot of things going on, good and bad, for all of us. I say the bad things may be karmic. We might not be able to do much about them. Just go with the flow, ride through them, and make sure the good things are the things that we want, that we really, really want. Make September special. 
okay so on with your stars namaste blessings and light thank you so much for your likes your shares your subscribes your google pluses everything and if you'd like a private reading from me just click up in the corner get yourself booked in for a reading i'd love to do one for you and have a great one okay bye Hi Pisces, welcome to your September 2015 reading, I hope you enjoy it. You've got some amazing cards for this month. Um, I'm just going to move this one, which is the Magician. I'll have to try and lighten the video up a bit for you. Um, but we're starting off with the, the Three of Coins. Um, now, Three of Coins, you've been working hard, you've been working hard towards something. You've been enjoying what you've been doing. For most of you and the meaning is your talents your skills your abilities you've been put into really really good use and and now it's time to put plans into action as they're going to be really successful for you so those of you thinking of uh, maybe thinking of starting your own business or you've just started your own business you've just got yourself uh, settled in at work you're doing really really well at work um, there's a focus on recognition and, and of skills and hard work going on. If you're in, um, if you're not in your own business and you work for a company or something, you are really well regarded. Um, they regard you very highly. They love what you do. You're really respected at work. If you are looking um, for work, you may find that potential employers um, have already taken note of your abilities and the qualities of work. They're very impressed with you if you've been for an interview lately, so you're likely to get taken on quite soon. Um, really, Just a really, really good card. You're going to be rewarded for the efforts that you've put in to um, some sort of work, probably a work situation. It could be some other form of situation that but you something you've put hard work into and it's paying off at the beginning of the month and it's crossed by the magician card as well which is another fantastic card and because it's in the challenge position i'm imagining that you don't think that you can or you don't think you're in a position <clears throat> to be able to create what you want to create at the moment and you are and you can Anything is absolutely possible at the moment for you if you put your mind to it. Communication is going well. Everything should be going really well for you. Um, and you need to believe in yourself and know that you can do it and know that you're moving forward in things. I think it's maybe a little bit of lack of faith um, on your part, but you're heading in the right direction. You've got to use your courage, use your faith, have a positive attitude about what you want and what you need because you can do it and you are doing it even if you think you're not. Um, it's just a little bit of a, a lack of faith, I think, in it. I, I feel a lot of you have started a new business or something or started some sort of new venture and you're worried about it because just in the past position, we've got the Nine of Swords. So there has been worry there. You have been really worrying about something either relationships or money worries but there's been worry there and maybe you haven't thought you had the faith to be or the courage or the know-how to go forward with something and that's just a complete illusion because you absolutely have and you can do because moving forward we've got the star card in the immediate future which is your yes card to everything the stars are shining down at you things are really really good for you and that's just where just where you should be you're heading in the right direction you're heading towards where you want to go um, in a really really good way the stars star card is one of the best um, cards in the pack and it also tells it's like peace and contentment contentment maybe with the the three of coins and the magician going on you're very very busy at the moment but then there's this beautiful contentment and there's this peace coming over you in the near future after whatever you've been going through at the moment which you've been working really really hard towards 
but you get in there. Um, if any of you have been ill or feeling under the weather, that's going to return. You're going to feel really healthy and that's going to get better for you. There's a lot of fresh beginnings and new experiences ahead for you if you have the faith in yourself to take them forward. Now in your conscious position, we've got the Eight of Swords, which is you feeling trapped in a situation, but it's an illusion. You're not really trapped in anything. We all have a choice in what we do. And the woman in the, in the, the card, what she depicts, if I sh just show you without burning my arm, um, she just thinks that she's trapped. The, the bonds that hold her are actually very loose and they can be shaken loose at any point. She just doesn't realise that. So she thinks she's tied up and trapped and she's not. They can be shaken loose. So if you've been under some sort of illusion of stress that I don't know how to move forward, I can't move forward, what am I going to do? I don't have enough courage, I don't have enough faith, I'm not good enough to do that. You absolutely are and you're moving into a much better period in your life because you can do it, you've just got to have that faith. Um, and yet in your subconscious, you see in your subconscious as well, you're having a little argument with you, with yourself here um, when it comes to this because you've got the King of Wands. So you are, you've got a lot of in intelligence about you at the moment, a lot of honesty going on as well. You absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely person at the moment. Um, in your subconscious, you're actually very secure in yourself um, and you're secure with your financial standing and you are strong and you're, you are generous and deep, deep down on a subconscious level, you know this and you know that you can do it, but for some reason in your consciousness, you've, you're, having, um, you're having doubts, you're having periods of, I'm not sure if I can do this, when actually, yeah, you can. And you are doing for most of you as well with the star card and the magician and just keep that faith in yourself because moving into the second half of the month it's really nice we've got the the ten of cups in the second half of the month so that is talking of fulfillment contentment um friendship all round, happy family um scenarios and things being peaceful and content and good um, there's a lot of family harmony um, with a focus on relationships than that in the second half of the month. Everything should be really nice for you and pleasant. Um, and you may feel a pull to be at home a little bit more the second half of the month. You may feel you want to do up your home, something like that. And you recognise the true value in your, in your life, in your home, which is really, really good. So you need to be able to, to accept all that, to, to, to have this Ten of Cups in your life. It tells of changes in your life, um, but don't let them become uncertainties in your life. Go with the changes. The changes are good. Um, it's a really strong influential card. Um, don't be detra detracted from, don't be... Um, don't let that eight of swords, don't let your inner demons try and make you think that you're not good enough is, is what it's saying. It's a really positive time and it's a really good time, especially around the home for you and family environments. Any planned trips, any travel, any journeys, holidays, vacations around this time as well, around the second half of the, the month are going to be really exciting for you. Some of you are planning to go away. Um, and there's going to be a lot of pleasant surprises for you and times that you didn't expect coming that will be coming up for you in the second half as well. Some, some of you will be getting married in the second half of the month um, or getting engaged or moving in together. There's this home thing going on, this home theme that runs through it. And there's a re somebody's going to take a trip and it's going to be really beneficial for them. Um, and you're not going to be worried. You're not going to be worried as much about anything 
and um, there's a lot of abundant blessings for you in the second half i tell you what after the last reading i did this is a really nice reading because the last one was a little bit um i can't remember which sign it was that i did but it wasn't that that great um ten of coins as well <clears throat> it's another ten so again we're talking of financially things going well for you again starts maybe the talk of starting new businesses getting promotions financial worries being over for the moment for you or at least running a hell of a lot smoother than they have done in the past where you're not that worried about them so that's really good for you um again it can speak of trips and it can be linked to the home as well there's a lot of family support around you um both emotional and financial in the second half and it's not just you that's going to benefit from this it's everybody that's going to benefit as long as everybody's got um sort of an equal role of give and take in the second half of the month everyone's going to benefit from this i feel very strongly about some of you are in some sort of family business which is thriving absolutely thriving at the moment um and there's good investments going on for you as well some of you may have some inheritance due through <clears throat> and that's what it is and it's sharing sharing this family assets or this business out as well but it's a fantastic card because that's just a, a complete improvement in everything if you've not been going through a good time this month everything starts to improve just keep that faith within yourself now we come across the knight of swords probably towards um towards the end of the month maybe and there is be careful of doing anything reckless within that time um there is going to be some hiccups not a lot and that if there's any stagnant situations that you're in if anything seems to have come to a standstill that's going to change and that's going to come out favorable as well it's just going to change around really really quickly for you the knight of swords literally just charges in and changes everything you could find yourself involved with somebody who is really impulsive around this time as well they may come into your life this person could either be it's very strange their thoughts are really erratic as well this person could either be an enemy <laughs> or a loyal friend um, who is trying to act in your favor but because they're they're just really erratic you're not going to be sure where they're, where they're coming from at that time don't make any hasty decisions around this time things are going to come in swiftly and change and you're going to have to go with the flow if you need to don't make quick decisions at that time <coughs> there is a couple of hiccups around there but I don't think they're anything completely um, nerve-wracking or anything like that there will be a little bit of upheaval it will be a challenge I think it's probably a test a lot of us have got tests to go through this month we've got a lot of learning to do um, and the universe will put challenges our way or tests our way for us to get over um, but as long as we ride through them with balance and courage then the positive opportunities will become apparent um, once this situation comes down calms down and you will see why this has happened and you will see the reasons you will see with clarity um, if this person comes in as a good friend they are there to support you they are there to defend you if necessary necessary as well they're just their thoughts are very erratic so you might be a little bit confused by them um, it could be an Aries or a Gemini so look out for that um, if they come in as an enemy and it's a test you will know straight away um, you'll know who I'm talking about but obviously if it's a loyal friend or something you'll also know who I'm talking about 
but for some reason they're acting erratically. Their thoughts are not completely clear, but they're really wanting to help you at the same time and support you. And you just don't quite get where they're coming from, but their intentions are the best for you. They're trying to help you. Um, they may be just not going about it in the right way to help you. And there's, there's a great period of, of growth definitely in the last half um, of the month. These events um, and positive results coming through from what you've been through with this test and whatever you go for this month, especially with the star card, is going to be successful and you've got two tens in the reading, it is going to be successful and you're going to, by the end of the month, you're going to see the results and the rewards of it being successful you're going to see it, it's reaping what you've sown, so it's the harvest, which is it's a really good month to do it, the harvest is coming in, you're going to start taking rewards from hard work that you've worked on, something that you've put into some goal or change or situation within your life and even if there's a blip during it, you will get through it and the outcome is excellent and you're going to enjoy the benefits from that but at the beginning of the month you have to have more faith in yourself to know that you can actually do this and to know that you do have the assistance of the magician don't ignore the magician because he's in the challenge position don't think you do not have his power and his magical touch this month because you do and if you use his abilities um, if you use the strength of the magician to move forward with and you go on, you, you've got the star card, the yes card, this is the yes card to everything. So you've got a really fantastic reading for this month. You're definitely reaping what you've sown by the end. Look after yourselves this month, make sure that your health is in tip top condition. As I said, you've got the star card, so anyone who hasn't been feeling that well will feel a lot better during the month. And you're going to have this feeling of being sort of self-satisfied and pleased with yourself and pleased with your own efforts um, and being able to enjoy what you have worked long and hard for by the end. Although in the past with the Nine of Swords, you might have gone through some troubles, you might have gone through some worry. Um, you can enjoy the fruits of your labour by the end of the month, it's, it's brilliant. Um, especially most of this I think is on a, some sort of material level, but on a material level that's still going to affect friends and family around you and relationships, so it's going to, it's going to benefit everybody around you by the end of the month because you're going to feel better, you're going to feel pleased with yourself, you're going to want to share that happiness with everybody else, so you're going to make anyone around you happier as well. So that's a really, really good reading for you, um, Pisces. Fantastic. Um, let me know how it goes. I hope it goes really well. If it's not resonating with you, remember to look out for your rising sign and your moon sign as well um, to get some more clarity. But um, for the majority of you, it's a really good month, so brilliant. Namaste, blessings and light. Also, if you want a reading, just click up in the link in the corner and I'll get you booked in. I'd love to do one for you. Get some uh, clarity and answers. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye.